Welcome back to Broke Ass EDC, home of the working stiffs, everyday carry. Let's get after it. So, I got, you know, flipping through the old interweb, -er, and uh, I had such a good time with the QB ruckus, and then QB being the person who makes one of my favorite knives, that, that Tempest Pinion, I thought, well, I'll take another shot. And I've been in this little craze here lately with the button locks. So, simple little search. I throw down at uh, on the interwebs there that I wanted a QB and I wanted a button lock. And then when it pulled it up, I went to ascending price because you got to do that and then it pulled up this rdf now I, had, I i i studied a little bit trying to find what they had rdf for no no explanation if somebody else sees it drop it in the comment and i'll read it and let me know but i am pretty sure that RDF means really damn fast. Maybe. I don't know. But it is not let me down whatsoever. Overall length, uh, almost seven and a half inches. Pretty good size. Uh, just a little over three inch blade there. And Speaking of the blade, you got that AUS-10, QBG's using it. Uh, you know, it's another one of them, a little bit softer than your D2, but it's got, it's, it's not gonna rust as easy on you. It's true stainless, and it's gonna hold a good edge. I, I've got a couple of knives, some nice ones, you know, that I, I think the, uh, the Demco with the shark lock on it, the AD uh, 20.5. I think it's off still, and they ain't let us down on that one, man. It is a, it's a slicer right out the gate. And it's got this weird little spear point. I don't know, man. It's like a humpback. What do you call that blade? Uh, because in the I think spear point is what they're calling it in that. So, I mean, I'll go with that, but you know, it's got that little hump hole in it. Now the handles are a little bit girthier, but it fills out your hand well. And they are G10. You're looking at uh, four and a quarter inches on the, on the black G10 handles. But you got that button lock, and I mean it, it locks up good and tight and puts you in that good position. You got the jimping on top to hold back here. You're, you're getting not quite four fingers on it. I mean, it's on it. I'd say it's 3.98, you know. You feel like that pinky is falling back a little bit. And that clip does, does put a little pressure, but it's not, I wouldn't say a hot spot and you come to that clip deep carry so this thing it disappears in the pocket it's gone and this clip was pretty good it's in and out smooth no problems the clip is sitting on top let me see if i can get to focus here it's sitting on top of the g10 but the screws are recessed in it I mean, at this price range, that's, that's usually what you're gonna get. They have already kind of filled in on the ambidextric, you know, with an extra screw there, so you ain't got as much sticking out, you know, big gaping hole. Does have the lanyard hole, if that's the game you're playing. Uh, the liners have been 
Uh, got the speed holes in them there to reduce everything. And I mean, that, that it's the first QV with the button I've had and I think they're on it pretty good. Man, I'm enjoying the button lock. I Access lock was all right or lock bar, dura lock. I like it, but man, I'm, I'm really kind of enjoying the fidgetness and the, the utility of that, that push button. I just, uh, it seems to fit my style better. But I'll tell you, man, uh, QB again, I've yet to buy one or touch a, one of these QBs that, that isn't exactly what you're wanting. And this one, you're going to find it. I'll throw it down in there, but it's under the 40 mark on that price range. And it's it's money well spent. Uh, like I said, that handle's a little bit thick. You do have the back spacer in there. I, I'm a I'm a fan of that. Anytime they throw the back spacer in there, it just makes it look better than that straight open design. It's a preference. Everybody's got their own. But uh, great little budget pocket knife. And it, it seems like it gets small. Light, I think uh, three and a half ounces. So it's under that four ounce mark. So you're looking any kind of britches, it's gonna, it's gonna carry well. And it's blacked out. I think they had some other colors. I didn't even pay no attention, man. I, this one just looked good, black on black. Had that mean old eye, big hole in it. And uh, you can flick it. You can you can jam the the flipper tab, and it's got a pretty good solid detent. Let's see if I can get it to fail. Yeah, I mean if you really try there, but. Yeah, man. Can't really complain about that at all. Tip up pocket carry. So when you come out of the pocket, it's it's already in your hand ready to go. You throw the flipper and it's it's really damn fast. I'm telling you, I think that's what it is. It's probably something else. Somebody's damn initials or something. But Maybe I'm just looking or grasping at things. But RDF, really damn fast. I mean, that's a pretty decent name. So, uh, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, throw out a comment. Let me know you're there. Uh, let me know if there's something you saw and I ain't seen it yet, man. Don't so stay sharp, stay safe.